Zuplo makes sending email a little more fun. We do this by offering you over 7,000 colorful backgrounds to compose your messages on. You can even upload your own photos and create custom designs. I'll explain how this works in a minute. Let's start with a quick overview of how Zuplo works. The left menu allows us to browse different categories. I'll go to Nature and Landscapes. As we move our mouse over the thumbnail images, we'll see a preview of the designs on the right. This one looks nice. I'll click the thumbnail. Now we can see the whole background design, or stationary as it's often called. I'll click the button in the middle of the screen that says Use this stationary. If a pop-up appears asking for permission to access your clipboard, click Allow Access. That's it! We've now got the background copied, so let's open an email message and paste it in. Zuplo backgrounds work with Yahoo, Hotmail, Gmail, AOL, Outlook Express, and almost all other email programs. For this demonstration, let's use Yahoo. Here's a message from Laura in my inbox. I'll reply to her. First, I make sure my cursor's in the body of the email. That's the place I would normally type my reply. Now I'll right-click my mouse and choose Paste. Or I could just press Ctrl-V for my keyboard. It's that easy. Before beginning to type, I have to position my cursor correctly. This is super easy. I just click once in the middle of the typing area. Now I've got a blinking cursor in the upper left corner of my background. Perfect. I'll type my reply to Laura and click Send. That was easy, wasn't it? Before we wrap up, let's look at three more things. Saving our favorite background so that we can easily use them in the future, creating custom designs from our own photos, and using the optional Zuplo software to make this all super efficient. Registering for Zuplo is free. If you're registered and logged in, you'll be able to save any of the Zuplo background designs to your favorites page. Let's give this a try. Here's my favorites page. As you can see, I currently have nine designs saved. Let's add the one we just used for the email to Laura. I'll go back to the page that offered that design, and this time I'll click Add to Favorites. Now let's go back to my favorites page. There it is, ready for me to easily find again in the future when I want to use it. Now let's create our own custom design. This is really fun. Creating custom designs is free. They only take a minute or two and they're ready to use. I'll click Browse and locate a photo on my computer to upload. Let's use this one. Small photos upload quickly. Larger ones take a little longer. Okay, here it is. Our first step is to crop the photo. You'll notice three different cropping shapes in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Click on the one that you think will suit you the best. To change the size, move your cursor to any of the little squares around the crop area and look for the double arrowhead cursor to appear. Then, hold down the left button of your mouse and drag. To move the crop area around, put your cursor inside the crop area and look for the crossed double arrows. Again, just hold down the left button of your mouse and drag. Okay, this cropping looks about right. I'll click the Next button. On this screen, I'll use the color palette in the upper left to set the rest of the colors for the design. The four radio buttons just to the right of the color palette let me choose the different elements of the design. First, let's set the color of the left vertical banner beneath the photo. This gold looks nice. Next, I'll do the separator line just underneath the photo. I'll choose a little darker gold. Now I can pick a color for the middle rectangle of the Zuplo logo. Let's go with a dark brown here. The last option is to set the color of the typing area. I think white looks good, so I'll just click Next. Since this design is going to be saved to my favorites page, I have to select a thumbnail image to appear there. This looks good so I'll click Finish. I can use my new custom stationery right away if I want to. I also got to save this design to my favorites. Let's check to see if it's there. There it is, right in position number one.
the gold buttons tell me it's a custom design. Oh, and by the way, that's Dixie. Isn't she cute? Finally, let's take a quick look at the free Zuplo software. The Zuplo software allows you to access the backgrounds you have saved to your favorites directly from within your own email program. You don't have to visit the Zuplo website each time. I'll go back to that message from Laura in my Yahoo mail to illustrate. I'm going to click Reply. Like before, I'll position my cursor where I'd normally begin typing. Now I will right-click my mouse again, but this time with the Zuplo software installed, I see some new menu options. I'll pull down to Zuplo Favorites. The Zuplo software pops right up for me, showing me my saved favorites. I'll just click on the thumbnail of the custom design of Dixie that I just created. There it is, immediately pasted into my reply to Laura, all set for me to type on. Now I just compose my reply and send it off. As you can see, the Zuplo software makes accessing your favorite Zuplo backgrounds extremely efficient. There you have it, Zuplo. See, as I said at the beginning, this makes emailing a little more fun.